All right, it's like something like this in E. Um, well, I started a furniture making class last night out at Heidelberg, but uh, I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't the most scholastic uh, student, but I, I, like, I completed year 12 and, and all that sort of stuff, so um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, doing the furniture course with one of my good mates, Daniel Connors from the club and uh, at NMIT out in Heidelberg and uh, I don't know what we're going to make yet, we're, we're still getting onto the sharpening and cleaning tool phases but it might be a uh, like a plant stand or something like that. Uh, I think the, the best thing about playing at Richmond is um, it's a, something that I don't think a lot of other clubs, sort of by your, your Collingwood's, your Essendon's and your Carlton's, really get to experience and that's something that uh, the club, our Jumpo, has so much tradition about it and we've got so many supporters that are, that are going to come out of the work when we start to become successful again and uh, it's just something that you, you play at a, a club that's had a lot of success in the past and there's people that want, want the success and hopefully we can bring that. Uh, I think I think I've only had a bit of a bit of a sort of um, look at him so far, and a bit of a taste to play with him. But I reckon someone I'm really going to love playing next to is Dustin Martin over the next the next part of our careers. I think he's uh, he's exciting. He's uh, just got a bit of X factor that the fans love about him, and he's only played one year of footy, and he's uh, he's already got a cult following. So I think he's going to be a one to watch in the future. Um, I think it, it takes a while uh, to to mature as a as a as a senior, as a key position player. That's a big one. I think you see a lot of key position players coming through in their fourth or fifth years. So I was lucky enough to to make that step up. But um, like I've always had a belief that I'd be a, a good player. But it's um, something that I really probably over the last years really started to become more of an emphasis on my role on the side. So yeah, that's. Probably over the last year I've started to have a, a bigger impact and I've realised that I can have a bigger impact on the club and, and outcomes of games. <laughs> haven't really set any uh, individual goals uh, as per sort of like marks or st statistics or anything like that. I think the big one for us is we're developing a mentality at the club that it's just um, it's just ever the team. Like everything's we've got a we've got a great setup. Uh, we're going to have great redevelopment coming through soon. We've got new sponsors on board, so we're really excited to, to be going into a new era of the club. And we've got to set a lot. Our club has set a lot of lofty goals. Uh, they've set a lot of uh, uh, in regards to members and uh, financial funds and stuff like that. And I think it's just going to be a big year for the club on field to make sure that we can hopefully reach these goals on field.